Hey everyone, GeoArm Security here. Today we're going to show you how to hardwire the siren to the wireless security system. The first thing I want to do is go over the Honeywell 702 self-contained electronic siren. And uh, it basically comes with the large siren. It's an external siren. And you can see the specifications on the back as well as some other, other information. You'll see there are three wires. There is a white, a red, and a yellow. The white will be the ground, as it states here, and then you have a decision. You can go with red, which will be warble, or a pulsing siren, or yellow, which will be a steady siren. We're going to go ahead and use the warble. Uh, we seem to like that a little bit uh, better. And it'll act as your positive. So white negative, red positive. And um, what you want to do is in this application is you want to make sure that the red and the white wire have enough length of wire reaching back to where you're going to be uh, setting up the overall external hardwired siren kit. So that's one thing to keep in mind as we go through this. Moving along, we are going to prepare the actual can and the kit together to make everything a little bit more simple for you, a little bit more of a, an applied application. Uh, you will need access to some wire, some single strand wire, black and red preferable. And you will also need your Altronics relay which comes with the kit, but just to reiterate, the power supply which comes with the kit. And the first thing that I like to do of course is print out the diagram that we have online. It will be very easy for you to access that and follow along with what I'm doing. The first step is you want to make sure that you take your relays out of the box and you put the double sided tape on and clean the surface down of the actual can so when you stick these up you'll get a lot more usage out of them. Go ahead and peel the backs off of these devices only when you're ready to install. Now a key component is you want to make sure that the uh, trigger minus is on the top and trigger positive is on the bottom and I like to install this and I like to use this mounting hole as a reference plate because you don't want to mount over it because if you did that you wouldn't be able to hang this can on the wall when you're finished. I like to put it roughly about the same level as the top of it of this mounting hole just like so and you don't have to completely firmly press it just yet and then you want to do the same with your power supply. Go ahead and peel the backs off of the sticky tape, just like so. And now you're ready to stick this up as well. You want to make sure that the terminals, AC transformer, DC input, these are facing downwards toward the bottom of the box. And I like to line the top of the module up with the bottom of this Zettler area. So you can go ahead and mount it right about there. All right, so now we have those both mounted inside the box. You will need some wire strippers. Uh, typically, you're going to want something with a clamp at the end. And you'll need two beanies. These are to tie wires together, which we're going to be doing. So you can put those to the side for now. Take out your wire strippers. Keep those handy. And if you take a look, at the first wire that we're going to wire, we're going to take care of the siren first. We're going to make sure that that happens first. So what we're going to do is wire the trigger positive common and we're going to tie that into the red wire of the speaker. So we will need one of these beanies. Now, go ahead and uh, make sure that you have a wire that is leading outside of the box where you can beanie the two wires together and the end that's gonna get beanied, make sure it's got a little extra copper so when you twist it, you can get uh, gets better connection. The other end, a little less copper exposed because that's gonna be going into the relay. And you'll also need a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver. So if you follow the diagram, again, it's gonna be trigger plus and we're gonna wire the common out of the panel. All right, so go ahead and do that. Make sure that this is a that the common is loosened up a little bit so you can slide the wire underneath. Hold it in while you screw it down. Now make sure it is pretty tight. You don't want to strip the screw but you want a good solid connection. 
and this is going to run directly outside of the panel as you can see I'm using the top of the box so that's running through here and you're going to want to locate your positive your other positive wire and we're going to go ahead and twist these two wires together like so you're going to locate one of your beanies the open end go ahead and make sure these get inserted pretty deeply into the beanie and use the top of your wire strippers here while holding in and go ahead and close down and be careful not to pinch your fingers you don't have to do it too hard but I like to just go all the way up the connector just to make sure it has a solid grasp of the wires so you never have to worry about any connection issues now we have that part all wired up so the positive is taken care of the next what we're gonna do is we want to run the DC minus and we're gonna connect the three wires into the actual 702 siren so with your Phillips head screwdriver you're going to locate the DC minus which is right here unscrew that terminal just enough so you can get this small end and remember on these ends not leading out of the box you want a little less copper exposed you're going to slide that into its terminal go ahead and close it up again pretty tight you want to make sure you never have to worry about its connection this end will be running outside of the box here and next we're going to leave that there temporarily that's one of the three wires we're going to wire the trigger positive neg negative minus and that's going to be a black wire as well you're going to insert the end with the least amount of copper as opposed to the one with the longer end which will come out the top of the panel and you're going to insert that end into the back of negative of the trigger positive negative terminal screw that down as tight as you can just don't overdo it the other end will run outside of the panel now you're gonna take these three wires including the negative wire of the actual siren and you're gonna tie them all together make sure they all have a connection once you have them twisted all together like so locate your beanie insert those wires into the beanie protecting the wire and you want to take your strippers here and go ahead and clamp down the wires holding them into place very simple like so for this next part you will need the transformer that comes with the actual siren kit on our web page and the flathead screwdriver and you'll see I have a black end and a red end and I want to insert one end into each one of these terminals it doesn't matter about polarity on this one so either terminal will work fine just make sure that you secure each one down very good so it doesn't have as good of a chance to come out at all screw it down make sure it's tight do the same for the other end like so and make sure that that's snug you can take this part put it to the side and you want to get the other edge of the wire of course with a long enough distance from where you want to plug it in and you're gonna run it through the bottom of the hole the bottom hole right here and we're going to wire it into these far left terminals and again there's no polarity so I like to just unscrew them just a little bit each go ahead and insert one end into the right side try not to let any copper get exposed just as a precaution screw it down nice and tight and do the same for the other terminal all 
All right, pull it tight, make sure it's good. All right, and now we have the transformer wired to the power supply. Also, you'll see the battery, the backup battery leads coming from the power supply. We won't have to worry about that until the end. The next step in our installation, we're going to take our red wire, run it from DC outlet positive into the trigger positive NO. And that's very simple. Both, edge, both edges of these wires, you want the least amount of copper exposed and just enough distance for it to uh, for them to reach each other doesn't matter which way you go first I'll just go ahead and start from this direction I'll do the relay first screw it down into the NO terminal and then the other edge will go into the DC output positive like so screw that down so you do have, again, NO going to DC positive. And that's going to be the most difficult part is up to this point as far as getting this all wired up correctly. Now you're going to need two jumper wires. You, these will only need to be cut to the length of the actual size of the relay, so maybe a little bit over two inches. And you'll see the jumpers are here and here. We'll go ahead and do the trigger minus positive to the trigger positive on the bottom. So that's this terminal here. You want to go ahead and run part of that jumper from this terminal into the bottom left terminal here. Unscrew it. slide it in and you can screw it down now so you got one of the jumpers in there correctly again make sure it's on the po the trigger minus positive plus and the trigger positive terminal now we're going to go ahead and do our red jumper which again is from trigger minus positive plus down to the NO terminal I'll go ahead and wire the NO first So go ahead and insert that, like so. And this one is going to run into the positive plus as well on the trigger minus. So unscrew this terminal just enough to slide this wire in. And go ahead and screw that one down, securing both of those wires into the into the positive plus. So you have both of your jumpers installed now. So we're looking alive here. There's not too much left in our installation. Before we move on, you can uh, just make sure that the wires are long enough reaching from the siren. Uh, that will allow you to tuck them in after. Uh, so tuck in all the wires, like so. That way aesthetically when you close the box, you won't see anything but the wires heading out the top and uh, the bottom. So that's a nice clean install. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to how to link the L7000 wireless security system into the external hardwired siren kit. The first thing that we're going to want to do with this Lynx Touch L7000 is to power it down so that we can wire it. We're going to need some more 22 gauge by 2 wire. One end with a little less conduit exposed and a little less copper and on the other end we're going to want a little bit more of the conduit exposed to give you a little flexibility this end is going to go into the external hardwired siren and this end we're going to uh, install into the L7000 so we're going to go ahead and power down the system by turning the system on its side depressing the two tabs unplugging the backup battery like so as well as your either your LT cable or your power transformer wire and now we're going to take the 22 gauge by 2 wire that we have cut long enough to reach from the panel to your external hardwired siren kit you're going to run this edge of the wire through the back mounting plate of the L7000 you'll need your Phillips head screwdriver and you're going to be working with T2 
TRIG and GND, these two terminals. Uh, these, if you have your power transformer wire, you'd leave them there. Uh, there's an extra ground here that we're going to use. And trigger is going to receive the red wire. Go ahead and screw that in. And then the black will get the GND. So you can move that to the side. And you're going to bring in your hardwired siren kit. Now with the other end of that wire that we have coming from the back of the L7000, you're going to run it in the side knockout of this external hardwire box. So you're going to be working with this red wire. Go ahead and install that. And then go ahead and screw it down. The other edge of the black wire is going to go into negative minus. You can go ahead and seal it up. And now we are going to power up the alarm panel and the external hardwired siren and go into programming. So you can insert the backup battery into its directed terminal as well as the power transformer wire or your LT cable. You can seal up the panel to this point and I'm going to plug in the transformer wire uh, the power transformer for the external hardwired siren kit. Now that the system is ready go ahead and hold down the home key for three seconds on the L7000. Go ahead and select security, more, tools, 4112 is the installer code. Go ahead and select rules, highlight the first available rule, select edit, type you're going to enable to trigger output action, permanent on, start system operation, any burglar alarm, and stop system operation, bell timeout. Select save and you can back out. Alright so now this should be ready to go. I have a key fob hooked up to it with the panic button uh, ready to go which we do have a video on on how to program this 5834-4EN. Uh, just take a look at our YouTube page and you can either activate this to test by trip, you know, arming your system up and tripping a sensor that's on uh, perimeter instant or you can hold down this button for five seconds which will enable panic features. If you want to go this route you're going to have to make sure that the uh, that the audible siren is attached to this police which we do. Uh, to double check that go to security, more, tools, 4112, then you want to go to program, zones, and you're going to scroll all the way down to the last available zone, which is police, select edit, and you want to make sure the response type is at 24, 24 hour audible, save, now you can back out, allow yourself back into programming, and now if you wanted to you could hold down the panic features and select police, which will activate the siren. Uh, since it's so loud, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the key fob. And as you can see, that's extremely loud and well worth the time. And that's how you install the external hardwired siren kit for the Honeywell Lynx Touch L7000 wireless security system. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and view our blog at DIYSecurityBlog.com. If you need to contact us by phone, reach us at 1-877-443-6276.